Hey guys, Morgan's Manus. Today's tour review is going to be for a product that I typically don't really necessarily buy these. I have had some sent to me that I've done some reviews for in the past, and what I'm talking about is kind of like a third-party tool. You know, I buy a third-party like battery adapters and things to swap my Milwaukee batteries over to like a Bosch tool or something like that, but I typically don't buy the tool itself. But I was really wanting the Makita blower. I've seen, you know, Awesome Framers guy has his out all the time using it for certain things. Stefan even mentioned in his in my comments of the Klein flip socket video that I just put out that this looked like a one for one for that Makita and it was one of his favorite purchases that he's made in a long time. So I can see the value in that tool and I really, really want one, but I wish they had a Milwaukee one just because I don't want to have to buy another battery adapter. I also don't want to have to buy more batteries. I don't want to have to keep up with another charger at the moment. And plus, not only that, the Makita one's going to run you $190, whereas this one with the coupon is going to be 50 bucks. So it's a good value, and plus it's a good test for me to get it and see how much I think I might use it. That way, if Milwaukee does come out with one and it's $200, I'll know whether or not it's worth the money for me to buy it for how much I use it. Or maybe I'll find the Makita on deal, and then it will be worth it for me to buy a battery adapter or something like that but what i'm planning to use this for is you know sitting next to my miter saw or my table saw you make a cut it's just a whole lot easier to grab that it's more like a drill to blow off but it also gets you a little bit smaller of a cone shape to get a more compressed like air pattern to get out stuff in small spaces and things like that and it comes with other attachments but the other smallest blower that I have really is this little M12, and it works okay for the sawdust thing. Like I said, I mean, this is not a powerful blower whatsoever, but I just never have like the footprint of it. It still takes up quite a bit of room. I can't sit that next to my saw stand or anything like that uh, because there's just, it takes up a lot of room. But another thing that I use a blower for is I blow myself off before I get my truck. I blow my tools off, but sometimes blowing yourself off with a blower, like I've got my Bosch one here, I, that's one I carry in my truck all the time just because it's a little bit smaller and works well and it's got more power than that M12. And then if, you might as well forget using the M18. I mean, it ain't even going to happen because this is a trigger is way too far away from you. Plus, it will blow your face off if you use it. So, so again, I kind of was looking for something a little more compact like this Belief, like the Makita, just to use kind of in those situations, see how much I use it. But let me go ahead and show you what all you get with this, and then I'll show it to you. Like, I'll turn the power and stuff on here and let you hear it and tell you what I don't really like about it, you know, out of the box, just to give you the idea of, so you know what you're in for if you wanted to maybe take a chance on getting this tool. So again, out of the box, you're going to get the blower itself. Uh, it does take the M18 batteries. They do have a DeWalt version as well for the same price, the yellow that takes the DeWalt batteries. I've noticed a lot of the Milwaukee DeWalt stuff seems to be kind of interchangeable. If somebody makes something for DeWalt, they also make it for Milwaukee. I think it's because the batteries are fairly similar. Matter of fact, a lot of the battery adapters will work either or with Milwaukee or DeWalt. It's just one of the two batteries is usually a little bit looser. Uh, I have noticed right here, it does look like, let's see if I can maybe get it to show up. You get a little bit of flex right here at this point right here. So I'm a little leery of the build quality of it. And again, I should be because it's 50 bucks and it's a brand we don't know. But I have a feeling that if I ever really just drop this, I'm not too sure how long that joint right there is going to make it. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart in my hand or anything. I just get that feeling of... It's got a little wiggle to it, which the battery's got a little wiggle to it as well, and that may be part of it. But you do get the blower. Uh, you pull back on the little collet deal here and turn the nozzles, and th that's how they get uh, installed. So you pull back in and out on that, slide this in, and then turn it around, and that locks it in place. So you get several different nozzles I'll talk about here in a minute. You also have a trigger button that you have to push in and then pull the trigger to turn it on. It does have a LED light, and then it also has a button here that you can push in while it's blowing to leave it on all the time so you don't have to hold the trigger. It does also have buttons down here with the start button, although that start button doesn't start it, but as you press that, it changes from the high, medium, and low speed. So you got three speeds that you can go to on this, so it's three speed selectable. And again, I'll go through those here in a minute. Uh, inside the package, as far as nozzles, you get this one, which is probably the one that you're going to probably use the most. It's just kind of going to make that be a finer or more 
smaller pattern as far as the air that you're going to blow then you're going to get out of maybe your other blowers that you might have so if you need to blow something out of a crevice or something like that and again these all just snap on like that you also get like this inflator type tool so if you're going to inflate blow-ups gives you like a fan type nozzle as well and then you also get an even smaller uh nozzle but it also has a little bit of space around there i guess because it was probably going to be too much air coming out and maybe in that such small area and then also a nozzle that's a little bit bigger than that one so you kind of get some different nozzles you also get a flexible hose that you can hook on and maybe get into a hard to reach space to blow something out that's kind of neat i thought and then this one here is it accepts any of those nozzles on this end but it's a deflator you can take out this grill in the back here and then add this on so then if you want to deflate an air mattress or something like that you could put whatever nozzle on that fits whatever it is that you were blowing up stick that back in turn this on and then it will pull the air out and blow it out of the front so you get quite a few attachments with it i think that that's kind of nice i don't know you know what you get with the makita for that 190 dollars. i don't know if you got to buy any of this stuff extra but again you're going to get what you pay for in my opinion with tools so is this going to last five days 10 months 10 years depends on how much you use it how often you drop it all those things like that uh, i will say if you buy any of these kind of products like this even the battery adapters especially the battery adapters that have usb charging i never leave my batteries in the tools because some tools this one may this one may not i don't know i never try to test it out because i don't want to ruin my batteries but some of these things always pull power all the time whether you're even using them or not and then that will kill your battery so that's one of the things that's a downside of buying tools like this versus milwaukee has stuff built into their tools you know not to do that whereas these might not have that so i never leave tools like this or even use a battery adapter i never leave my batteries in those at one time but let's go ahead and get into showing you what it sounds like what it does i will say starting out before we get into this that this thing is crazy loud in my opinion it's way louder than my other blowers um i, I saw that in some of the reviews so i expected it to be loud but it's even probably louder than i thought it would be and i don't know how well video is going to pick it up because i know my iphone sometimes when you run saws and things like that it adjusts the audio itself even with me not doing anything uh, but again you have to press this safety in up here and pull the trigger i think that's silly on a blower but you no know, whatever and you can see i'm going to be in high maybe you can see that there i'm in the very first bar so i'm going to turn it on let you hear it super loud i have noticed though if you take something and just put it on this back side I don't notice a lot of airflow difference, but I do notice quite a bit of sound difference. Uh, I think that that's pretty significant in sound difference, but that may affect, you know, your motor and everything over the course of time, not letting it get enough air through there. But I mean, literally the same amount of air comes out this end, whether you cover that up or not. Uh, and again, I'll just show you blowing on this paper here. I don't really have anything around here to kind of blow off. And again, it's it's got probably the same amount of power, maybe a little more than my M12 but let's get it uh, clean enough. So that was high. Now I'll go ahead and press start. I'm gonna go to medium and then low. Low is still enough to knock Ron Swanson down, but again, it's not crazy blower. To me, it's more of the fact that it's such a small compact handheld thing you can put different nozzles on it blow up your air you know inflatables all those kinds of things like that with your milwaukee battery uh 
Is it useful to you? Only you know that. Again, don't expect it to be a leaf blower. It's not going to be able to go out in your yard and blow leaves. I would think it's kind of the equivalent of this M12 blower, except for smaller package, smaller nozzle, get that in some crevices. You get some little different attachments to do different things with it, and it's only 50 bucks. Again, whether it lasts a long time, who knows? Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've got this one, if you've had it for a while, or the DeWalt version, because again, they have a DeWalt brand. I'm sure it performs the same way. Let us know how well it's worked out for you over the course of time. And again, hopefully Milwaukee will come out with one someday or I'll find me some crazy deal on the Makita. But it, this is something I can use in the meantime to let me know how much I will use it so that if that price is outrageous, I'll know whether or not I need to spend the money on it. So hope this is helpful in some way. More than anything, it's just to let you know that it's an option that's out there. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about it. You guys stay safe. Have a blessed day. See you on the next video.